Welcome to Dr. Tom Talks, today a coronavirus special. With the help of the BioDigital Human, I'm going to be talking about potential coronavirus vaccine development. In order to understand that, we have to understand how the virus itself attacks our cells within our body. We're all pretty well aware now that if you touch a surface with the coronavirus on and you touch a particular part of your face or you potentially inhale a respiratory droplet with the coronavirus in, you can become infected. But how does it actually infect the cells within our body? Well, it can get all the way down into your lungs and it can get into the air-filled sacs called alveoli, for example. And here you're inside an alveolus. This is a type 2 pneumocyte with these sort of pink projections here. And this is a cell involved in producing surfactant so that you can breathe more easily because it's lubricated. And on this cell is something called an ACE2 receptor or an angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptor. And these are essentially the doorways by which the virus can enter our cells and infect them. So here's SARS-CoV-2, the virus itself. So severe acute respiratory syndrome, coronavirus 2. And as you'll see, this virus they, has proteins on the outside, one of which is called a spike protein. The spike protein attaches to the ACE2 receptor. The ACE2 receptor helps internalize the virus into the cell, so it's now inside the cell. And then the virus does what every virus wants to do, which is replicate again and again and again. And you'll see a bunch of different viruses exiting the cell. Hundreds of viruses then go and infect other cells. You'll also notice that this cell has gone dark, and that represents dysfunction of the cell because it's busy creating more viruses, not doing its job. And it can even die. It's like an engine being run forever until it eventually conks out. And that's why you get the symptoms that you do, because these cells that are meant to be doing their normal jobs can't do them anymore, and they're dying. So how do you prevent this through a vaccine? Well, it's all to do with these things called antibodies. And antibodies are represented here by these green Y-shaped objects. And whether it's an RNA vaccine, a DNA vaccine, a live attenuated vaccine, a viral vector vaccine, a killed protein-based vaccine, they're all trying to do one thing, which is rev up the immune system to create more and more antibodies against the coronavirus. So how do they work? Well, if you take a look here, you can see the virus and these antibodies attach to the spike protein on the virus. And because they're attached to the spike protein, they can't attach to the ACE2 receptor here, which means that the virus isn't internalized into the cell, which means that you don't get infected. And just a really quick note about these antibodies. These are the same antibodies that you would get tested if you got a blood test for the antibodies for coronavirus. And a couple of things about those antibody tests right now is that there are a few false positive and a few false negative results that you may get. And also, it doesn't necessarily mean if you test positive for the antibodies for the coronavirus that you will actually be protected against future infections from the coronavirus. We just don't know that right now. That's the antibody test. That's a blood test. It's different to the nasal test or a nasal and oral swab test, which tests whether you have currently got the virus. So the other thing that antibodies do, whether they're created naturally from fighting the coronavirus yourself, or you get them because a vaccine has given them to you, is that they tag the uh, virus for destruction by the immune system. So here you'll see they're attaching to the coronavirus right there. And then here's a white blood cell from the immune system, and it literally gobbles it up. It eats it like that and destroys it and clears it from your system. See how it ate it right there. So why is the virus vaccine development taking such a long time? Well, the actual development of the vaccine itself doesn't necessarily take a huge amount of time. But in order to make sure that it's safe and effective to do these clinical trials, it does take a while. You need a lot of people and you need a lot of time to make sure that it's safe and effective. This could be rolled out to up to 7 billion people, some experts are estimating. So almost the whole planet. So obviously you want to make sure that it works and that it isn't going to harm people. So that's why minimum estimates are a year, and that would be the absolute quickest that it may come out. So that's the coronavirus vaccine. Even if you get the vaccine or even if you test positive for the virus, do not stop doing things like washing your hands. That's super important to prevent the spread of this virus. You can check out all of these visuals on coronavirus.biodigital.com. Please share them with your loved ones and friends and family. We hope to educate people, reduce the spread of the virus, reduce the fear of the unknown. This is the coronavirus on vaccine development, and this is Dr. Tom Talks.